Hey everyone, it's Stephanie from Scrap and Create and we're working on page two, page two. So both of these pieces are coming from uh, the 12 by 12 DCE. And then this, this is from the eight by eight. So I'll kind of go over that as I'm installing things. This is gonna be the base. So we're gonna go ahead and glue this down and then we're going to add some elements that are actually gonna go right on top of this so they won't be attached to the edge. So I'm gonna start by uh, placing, by first verifying that my page is right side up and it is. So I'm gonna attach the smaller of the two pieces first and then we'll trim this one to fit if required. And I've already inked the edges with uh, powder puff mahogany. <clears throat> I think I need to clean my glasses. Have a little trouble seeing. Maybe when I take a break. Okay, we need to trim just a little bit off. Well, let's see. Maybe I had it turned the wrong way. Nope. A little bit off. We'll dry fit, and if it's right, we'll ink it and glue it down, and it's right. So as per usual, I am doing a 16th inch border. So for any surface that I'm covering, I make the designer paper 1 8 inch shorter, 1 8 inch narrower, and that'll give me my 16th inch border which is what I what I always do. Some people prefer a broader border. So that's our base. And then we are going to add two cards on top of here, a smaller one and a larger one. And this one, I don't know what I was thinking last night, but I actually glued that down. That is eight by eight. I mean, yeah, from the eight by eight package. The card, <laughs> the card is eight and a half. By five and a quarter. Eight and a half by five and a quarter. You're gonna score it in half and make a nice card. The second piece is 11 by seven. 11 by seven, score it in half. Okay, you're gonna have the score side to the right and the, the smaller one, the score side's gonna go to the left. And these are gonna stack on top of each other. So what I wanna do now is cover this first because once I have it covered, then I can kind of uh, shift it around and decide where I want it. It's, it's attracting, I've already put the magnets inside each of the cards, so it's attracting. So add your magnets, I'm gonna add um, my designer paper and then we're gonna look at these and figure out how to arrange them on that page. So I like the, the busy pattern on top of this sort of monochromatic and then this, mon, you know, simple two-tone pattern over here on the more complex. So I want it to look like that. And the question is, do I want, it's going to interweave like so. 
So do I want that? Sorry, that's a strong magnet. Or do I want it to look like this? And I like this better. And because of that, I'm going to add a cardstock back cut apart to put right here. And that, I think, makes the whole page sort of come together. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this. And I'm just centering it. Okay. And this, I think I want to have it about right there. So let's look and see. Okay, that looks about right. So I'm going to come over this way a little bit. Yeah, okay. So I'm just going to put a quick little tick mark here. So I know I'm trying to line that up with the black seam. This whole thing is going to get covered in glue. They're going to line up those tick marks. And the goal is to have it centered up and down. That looks right. Okay, we'll burnish this all into place. There we go. And that's gonna get installed like that. Yep. Okay, so now I'm ready to decorate this. This is from the eight by eight. It's going to go right here. Once in a while, I just get this wave, panic wave that I haven't hit the record button. Okay. Beautiful. Okay, I'm also gonna add this here and then I'm gonna put a contrast strip here, strip here that I somehow shuffled away. I think it's this, yeah. So let's go ahead and put this down first, and that way if we need to trim this, it's easier to manage that in the trimmer than this little piece I'm holding, which I'll tell you is three quarters of an inch. And it happened to just, that this piece wasn't big enough to cover both, so I'm just adding a little color block here, which makes it interesting, but also stretches my paper. Okay, looks like we are good. To go. Again, the, the beige and the black and white are from the 8x8 collection. this one and it's going to come over like so and we're doing actually this doesn't belong here it's not the right paper or is it maybe it is yes it is okay we're going to use these designer papers so we're gonna need to trim that to fit. Okay. I think we're good to go ahead and glue this all down.
Didn't get these inked. Here is the contrast piece, so I'm going to trim that real quick. Get the right pencil. everybody doing so this is album number three for 2023 that's pretty good three in one month um, that doesn't happen very often all fit but we're gonna check it real quick and see yes it does and you can see these two pieces are not exactly the same size and that's on purpose um, I could have trimmed the two outer pieces a little bit differently and made that work but I like I liked it because it's uh, it either has to be perfect or not um, otherwise it looks like you you messed up and I think this is far enough off that it doesn't look like I messed up. It just looks like it's supposed to be slightly off. That doesn't sound right now that I heard myself say it, but I hope you guys understand what I mean. Um, go and this is our last piece and it looks like I do need to trim this yeah so strife it This is page two. I made page two relatively simple um, because there's a little bit of page, a little bit of weight on the first page. So I think about how much weight is on, you know, uh, one side versus the next side, and then try to distribute the, the weight throughout the book so it's not all, you know, on the A and B side of one particular page. <clears throat> okay. 
Okay. There we go. So that's page two. So we got room for a photo here, photo here. And your photo could actually even go this way if you wanted. Let's see if I've got something cut that's kind of like that. So your photo could come across um, this way and be a larger photo. And then you could put a, a horizontal photo over here. Vertical photo. <laughs> I said that backwards. There you go. Okay, so let's add a little bit to this page. It needs a little something, don't you think? Mm, that's too small. I think I'm gonna fussy cut a couple of these pieces out and put them on here. So let's do that. Hmm. lay it on, take a look and see if we like it. If we do, we might cut one more out. Love notes, I love you. Oh, no I like cherished, let's cut that out. have our goodies from chipboard, right? I don't really want to put anything on this because I think it looks pretty the way it is. That disappears. I do have this Mona Mer. What does this one say? I love you. And this one says... forever. Thinking of you. These always look nice too. going to glue one side down so you can tuck your photo in.
This glue is just on the top. Okay, just a little bit of something something. Add that little touch of red. Okay, and I kind of like this, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have it hang off the top a little. This just looks like we're trying too hard, so I'm not liking that. So this just may be something I use someplace else. And we'll save all these bits so we can cut other things apart. That is it for page two, everybody. There we go. Man, those are strong magnets. Okay, I will be back soon. Thanks, everybody. <laughs>